what you see here is an expert advisor that is opening buy stops and we have a calculated profit on the chart and it uses two self-defined functions that we have compiled in a so-called library. You can think of a library as a file that contains self-defined functions that you can use again and again. Now how can we create such a library in MQL5? To do that, please click on the little button here in your MetaTrader. And now you should see the Meta Editor. And this is our main module. And we use these import statements here to import the file mylibrary.ex5. And in that file we have a function called getProfitCurrencyPair and another function called OpenBuyStop. And in the onTick function, we check if we have no open orders. And if that is the case, we want to open a buy stop. So we call the self-defined function open buy stop from our library. And to calculate the profit, we use the function get profit currency pair. And that's also self-defined in our library. And to create your own library, please click on file new library continue this one is called my library and now you can click on finish and the first thing we need is a property library without that you cannot compile the file and to be able to open the buy stops we need to import the trade functions from the built-in trade.mqh file and to get the profit of the current currency pair, we need to create our self-defined function. And this extension export is used because only a function with such a modifier is accessible for other MQL5 programs. And in the function, we declare a variable called profit this currency pair. It contains no value here. And now we go through all the positions using this for loop. And we use position get symbol for the current counter. And if the symbol on the chart equals the symbol of the currency pair from our position, we use position get double position underscore profit to calculate the position profit and position get double position underline swap to calculate the swap. Just add the two values up to get the profit of the currency pair. Let's end the for loop and we use normalize double and two digits to calculate the profit for the currency pair and format it for two digits behind the dot. And afterwards we use return to return the profit for the currency pair back to the main module. Let's add another function for the buy stop. It's called open buy stop and it also has the export extension. And to open the buy stop, we want to know the ask price, the balance and the equity. You can get the ask price by using symbol info double for the current symbol and you use symbol underscore ask. And with normalized double and underscore digits, we make sure that we have three digits for this currency pair or five digits for other currency pairs. And to get the balance or the equity, we use account info double, account underscore balance, or account info double, account underscore equity. And if equity and balance are equal, we want to open a buy stop by using trade.buystop for 10 micro lots. The buy stop will be 100 points above the ask price of the current symbol. We haven't defined a stop loss. The take profit will be 300 points above the ask price. And we use order time GTC because that is good until the order is cancelled so it will not expire and because of that we use a zero for the date time and the last parameter would be for the command 
We don't need that, so we also use a zero here. Let's add the last bracket to close the function and press this little button or F7 on your keyboard to compile your library. I made a mistake here. Of course, I need to create an instance of Ctrade. Now that is done and I recompile and this time it worked without any errors. So let's click on the button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. And in the Strategy Tester please select the file Simple Library Main Module.ex5. And please remember that you also have to compile the main module each time you create a library or you change a library. Now let's click on Start. And here we go. I will speed up the process a little bit. And now you know how to create an expert advisor that is able to import your self-written library and you have created it with a few lines of MQL5 code.